Hello, I can't contain my excitement and this is Board Deck and Dice. Today we are looking at a deck building game that is like um, Scrabble meets Star Realms. The game is paperback. Similar to other deck building games you have your row of, of the marketplace and on the marketplace you can buy letters for the cost in the bottom left hand corner or you can buy fame cards which act as wild cards. They can be purchased, they do not give you any points but they can act as any letter and they do give you victory points at the end. They don't give you any uh, money to buy other letters with if you use them in your word but they do give you victory points at the end. Over here also we have the common cards. The common cards um, are used by everyone while they're still there and the first person to make a seven letter word will claim the first common card take that into their deck and so on and so forth. So you get all sorts of common cards. Um, you get A, you get a space bar, um, which everyone could use until someone does one of the eight letters. That goes into their deck and O. And then it's called Common Dyslexic, this one, and it lets you reverse a two letter card. So the ES could become SE. When the bottom of that card is reached, the common card uh, card, common card card, divider, that signals the end of the game. The other way the game can end is by two of these fame cards or wild card piles being exhausted. Every player starts with the same hand of 10 cards and that is the R, the L, the T, the S and the N and five wild cards which are worth one victory point at the end. Uh, they will shuffle these up, they will deal themselves a random hand of five and then uh, using those five, one, two, three, four, five, I can still count, they will make a word using as many letters as they can and also using the uh, common letters. So I could, in this example, you kind of want to score the most points. I could do, um, what could I do? Uh, I could do Nat with the A, but also I can use these wild cards as anything. So um, I could do L O A with the thing for loan, that would get me three to spend. And like other deck building games, you'll get, then use that money to buy cards from the, the range here. Um, some of these cards have powers. This one lets you have a plus one card hand next turn. That's really handy if you try and get the bigger letters to claim the common card. This gives you more money. These are simply two letter words. And there are some attack cards in the game. Now you can choose to ignore the attacks, but if someone plays a word with an attack card in, um, every other player will have that attack valid for that next round. So if I played a word with this B in, everyone will get minus one dollar to their buying power. Um, per card left in their hand. So if they didn't use all their cards to make a word, they would lose one dollar for each card left in the hand. And really, that's it. It is deck building meets Scrabble, uh, but it works fantastically well. My mum, who loves Scrabble, loves word games, really likes this game, and yet, unlike when I play her at Scrabble, she doesn't always win. Um, we I had a game where she won by only one point, and another game where uh, I kicked her ass. yes! Uh, so I really enjoy this game. The words you make, um, although that is part of it, making a word using the letters, you can still succeed by making five dollar letters that get five dollars and buying up these, these fame cards. And you're always able to make words with these because they're wild, you can keep on making them. And yeah, you might not be getting as many points, but you can be buying up the victory points, which is at the end of the day, is all that matters. Now, it is important to remember, I saw one review that didn't like this because it seemed to take a long time to finish, but they forgot the rule where if two of these piles disappear, uh, into people's hands, then the game finishes as well as getting to the bottom one. So you've got options, you can force the game along by quickly emptying these piles um, if someone's making loads of big words. And also you've got to be really careful about what card you pick. It's not just a case of looking and going, oh I really like that power. It's thinking about the words you've already made and whether picking up that Z or that Q or that um, AN 
is going to help you build words or is just going to be a useless card whenever it comes into your hand because you just simply can't use it. There's some extras in the box that let you do different things, play with themes. There's some cubes that you can use as currency if you want people to help you out. And if someone helps you, 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 they take a cube and they have one more buying power. It's a really neat, well put together package. The card quality is fantastic. The box it comes in, let me just get that, is well thought out with uh, dividing cards and foam to keep everything secure. I absolutely love this game. Uh, as you know, if you watch the ch channel regularly, I love deck builders, so this was had to do something pretty bad not to be liked by me. But it was right up there, probably, definitely my top three deck builders, maybe my top two. Uh, I just love the way it plays. I love the fact that it's not just about Scrabble getting the biggest word out, it's about what you do with the points and how you prioritise letters and trying to get the common cards and all that. Uh, intimidation factor, really low, really low. Um, lots of cards with letters on and it seems like they might have a lot of stuff on but actually it all makes sense. It's all in the place where you'd expect it to be. The instruction manual is great, it's really clear um, and this game is a lot of fun. If you don't like word games, you don't like deck builder games, then there's nothing here to convince you. But if you don't if you enjoy the kind of wordplay scrabble but don't like the length it can sometimes go on to if you're looking for a word game that does something a bit neat bit clever paperback really is a good choice for you like i say one of my one of my top 10 games of all time let alone deck builders that is paperback i am incredibly excited and this has been board deck and dice thanks for watching